it's hard to describe war. War is brutal. It's not, it's not fancy. But that didn't stop him from protecting our country. And today, people like him are being recognized for the sacrifices they've made to protect the rest of us back at home. Good evening, I'm Marley Capper. As the Lion Eye Baseball took the field this afternoon, thousands packed the stands, not just to cheer on the athletes, but to honor first responders, active military members, and veterans. WCI3's Amanda Brennan was there and talked to a fan. Jim Gesso isn't only a fan, he also played on the team during his time as an Illinois student, but that's only the start of his journey. In 1968, he enlisted in the Vietnam War. Today, those two parts of his life combined. America's pastime <laughs> and honoring those who've put their lives on the line. And the It's why thousands packed Illinois field like Jim Gesso. Went through basic AIT and officer training school and then was sent to Vietnam right away. He was there for 45 days. In a skirmish, I got wounded in my right leg and ended up 23 months in a hospital. But years later, he's thankful to be doing okay, still watching the sport he's passionate about. There's no clock in baseball. Until that last out is made, you have a chance and it's enjoyable. And that's only one reason why he was set to spend his Saturday at the Diamond. It was Honor and Serve Day, recognizing military members and veterans. It really means a lot because I think a lot of people don't understand the sacrifices that most military, whatever branch you're in, whether you're in a war zone or not a war zone, that your life is interrupted for two to four years and there's sacrifices and then hopefully you can make up for it later on. Jesso is also a part of the team's boosters, the Dugout Club. That group helped organize a jersey auction at the game, benefiting Peacemaker Project 703. For Chris to continue to be recognized in this way is, um, is very heartwarming. Amber Oberheim helped form the foundation after her husband Chris was shot and killed while on duty with the Champaign Police Department. He, he loved the game of baseball. We ended up having four daughters, and so that transitioned over into softball. She says he loved the strategy and played himself. Then he coached his daughters for 13 years. That love of the game made the day even sweeter for her. Being back out at a field and just watching a game is definitely something that I did a lot with uh, our girls and Chris, and so it's great to be back out here. And Jessa was happy her family is being supported. It just it gives me goosebumps to think of what that family has gone through and, and people here are supporting them today. Amber and her daughters honored some of the baseball coaches today with challenge coins. It's a uniquely designed momentum that represents an organization. Chris's coin reflects the sport he loved the most, baseball. Now, if you want to get involved with their organization, visit our website, WCIA.com.